These are busy times at the United Nations Climate Change Talks in Copenhagen. Over the next few days, 15,000 delegates will hopefully come to an agreement on how to tackle climate change globally. I'm here with an Irish delegation led by Minister John Gormley. This morning we had a briefing from Oxfam where we had Archbishop Tutu and Mary Robinson leading a group of climate change survivors, people living in countries like Bangladesh and Tuvalu that are most at risk from extreme weather caused by climate change. Later on I had lunch with a group of family planning organisations where there was broad agreement that giving women more control over when and if they wish to have children is a crucial element in tackling the climate change crisis. This afternoon we had a discussion just behind me, Thomas Friedman, the author of Hot, Flat and Crowded, talking about how technological innovation will help drive climate change. But over the next few years a lot depends on the kind of stance, the negotiating stance that China and the United States take uh, at the core talks. From Ireland we introduced a carbon change levy last week at 15 euro per tonne, which will help drive innovation. And we've also published the framework for a climate change bill 2010 that is a step in the right Right direction. So hopefully there'll be some good news coming out of Copenhagen over the next few days. I'm Kieran Cuff, Green Party TD for Dunleary at the Climate Change Talks in Denmark.